Right, hello everyone, Year 5, it's Mr. Hattersley again. This is the first of your curriculum lessons for the week. Uh, we're going to be looking at Peter Thorpe, who is an artist, as I'm sure you can see. He does a lot of things based around space, so it fits nicely with the topic that we're learning about. So we'll learn a bit more about him now. So, about his rocket paintings, this is what he said about them. He said that he started rocket paintings in, 1980, in the 1980s as a way to use paint that I would have otherwise thrown away. So it, it was a bit of an accident really that he got into it. After each commercial job I did, there would be a palette half full of paint left over. And it pained me to toss it, which is an American way of saying throw it away. But the next painting required a new palette. It finally occurred to me that I could easily paint an abstract background on a blank board or canvas with the leftover paint. But what should I do with the abstracts? I started to do figures, landscapes, and as a long time space fan, rockets and planets on top of the background. Some of the figures and landscapes got noticed, but everybody loved the rockets. I have a, I have a lifelong love of space exploration, which links to our uh, literacy a bit, because we're trying to get people to love space exploration as well, aren't we? Space science and science fiction, in that order. I've worked for years with pro space groups as a graphic designer, and suddenly they're asking to buy my fine art rocket paintings. People have liked rocket paintings, so I continue to do them. Thank you to everyone who has supported them. So that's a bit of a story of why he started drawing these paintings. And I think they look really, really cool, actually. So, what is abstract art? You've just heard it there. Peter Thorpe does abstract art. These are all examples of it. But what do we mean by abstract art? It's a painting or sculpture that does not represent a person, place or thing in the natural world. So it just looks a bit different. So we know what space looks like. You've seen pictures of it in the couple of lessons that you've gone through in literacy and the videos on there. But now we can also see how easy... Does space look like that, really, with all these funky colours in the background? All like that. No, it doesn't. So it's meant to represent something without looking exactly like it. So it's not quite realistic, but it's still good enough to, for us to tell what it's meant to be. So there's a few examples here of his paintings. as powered orbit shows it a rocket going over a planet which could be any planet really we don't really, we can't really tell which one that is landing on mars now we can see that it's meant to be landing because the legs are out here and we can also see the red planet as mars as we know that mars is called and there's lots of other examples there uh, i encourage you to take a look at this slide a couple of times and see which one you'd like to base yours off because there's some really really good examples here okay so, your first task today is following this LO. So that LO says, to be able to draw a space-themed picture in the style of artist Peter Thorpe using an abstract art background and space feature in the foreground. So you have a planning sheet here that looks like this. So, you have the name of the artist, you know that that's Peter Thorpe, the style of art they paint, and the equipment they use. Ours might be slightly different, because obviously, I know, so if some of you do have paint at home, then that's more than five years to have a go with paint, but I know some people might not have access to paint hence why i've made it more of a drawing activity because i know everyone should have got colors and if not they'll be sent home within your packs i would imagine so i'll just go on to that very quickly uh there we go think it's on now working right oh maybe not so in this section I would put I know that I'm doing about Peter Thorpe we know that they're using oh we know that they're using abstract painting techniques
the equipment they're using you know that use paint and therefore paint brushes obviously we know what their interests are as well so obviously their interests are space rockets and all the other interests i'm just going to put a couple on there but i'm expecting you to fill it out fully so next bit we've we've seen those you can have a look at the slide again which i'll just put up for you now this one where you can see all the different things there and i'm also just going to show you this and i might decide right what colors do i like i really like this one I really like the Mars landing one, so I might try to do something in the style of that. So if we're doing Mars, I'm going to use red. Or I might decide to do something different like, I don't know, Neptune. So I might use blue if I do decide to use Neptune. So the equipment I'm going to use, I'm going to use some coloured... Pencils. And I'm also going to use some sketching. And colouring techniques. Okay. So, I'm thinking I'm going to draw something like in my um, thing. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a rocket, but I'm not sure. I might draw something. I'm going to draw the Apollo. 11 rocket which is the rocket that neil armstrong used to first land on the moon landing and i'm going to do uranus just because it's different to the picture uh neptune and i'm going to make a note there that a blue planet i'm going to write that i'm going to show fire coming from the engines as I land to, just because I think that's important to put on. I'm going to write the colours that I'm going to use. Now, obviously, I've just said I'm, I'm going to be using blue, aren't I? So I'm going to use blue for the planet's surface. And because I'm using fire, I'm thinking there might be sparks. So I might put and yellow spots around the planet's to show sparks. From the rockets engines. It will feature, um, and you can go into that, it will feature, obviously I've said what mine's going to feature. So, in the background, I'm going to use different, I think I'm going to use different shades of blue. For the background just to bring in the abstract scale so down here where it says draw a simple plan of your painting on your sheet obviously I'm expecting you to do that I can't do it because I'm on word um, but I'm just a quick plan and then afterwards you can detail and label it what, what color you're going to use what style what sort of shading you might use what's going to be in the foreground and then there should be a clear piece of paper available to you sent home in your packs where you can have a go at drawing your own planet uh sorry your own peter thorpe style page and after that you can have a go at just get this up have a go at this page here And you can evaluate it when it wants to load. So you can tell me what you did. I don't know why that literally lesson's just come up. Right, you can tell me what, what they did, 
what you're most pleased with, next time what you would like to do differently, and what you've learned. You can evaluate your own picture, and then next time you have a go at it, you might be able to do it even better and make it look even closer to one of Peter Thorpe's. Okay, I look forward to seeing your pictures, Year 5, and I know Miss Biggs and the rest of the Year 5 team will, so I hope you're staying safe, so, staying safe so, still, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.